What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you my 2015 NFL Draft Prospect Rankings video. We're taking a look at the wide receiver position. We're going to look at my top 10, some small school prospects, as well as some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. First, let's take a look at what goes into my prospect rankings. Number one, it's a trait focus base instead of a level of competition base. I don't care where you play, traits translate. Now look at three games, your best game, player's worst game, and also the best matchup and or competition. And finally, these are not indicative of where I believe these players will actually go in April's draft. And this year, we're going to rate the receivers in a different way. We're going to grade the prospects and rank them according to the best position fit at the next level, whether or not they're a split receiver or X, a flanker or a Z slot, which could be either a Y or S, depending if the tight end is on the field. The slot back is what it is called in Canadian football. But we're going to call it the F position, which is your fourth receiver and your utility player, which could be your fifth Y receiver. Kevin White out of West Virginia at 6'3", 210 pounds, is my number one rated Z prospect in this draft class. He explodes off the line of scrimmage. He creates separation with his feet. He's dangerous and elusive with the ball in his hands, which means he has great run after the catch skills. Now, he's inconsistent in getting off press coverage, which is why I believe he's better suited as a Z. You keep him off the line of scrimmage, he can do a lot of damage. And he also has to do a better job of walling off defenders. Those are the little nuances of the game, of the position that he has to get better at. And I think those things can get better at the pro level, which is why I think he's still a high first round type talent and also reminds me a lot of Cadero Patterson of the Minnesota Vikings with what he can do with the football in his hands. This may be a surprise to some, but when you look at Ty Montgomery and his overall skill set, you have to like what you see. He's a first-round type talent, plays a lot like Victor Cruz, and I'll explain that in a second. But we saw this guy be explosive with the ball in his hands, both on kickoff return, punt return, as a receiver, as a runner. Put the football in his hands, and he can put it in the end zone. He's another player that does a great job in running routes. We saw him down at the Senior Bowl get off the line of scrimmage consistently with quickness, get off the line of scrimmage consistently with power. So he has multiple releases that he can utilize at his disposal and he does a great job in doing that i think he's also very tough and physical no one will want to tackle this guy as a pro now his concentration lapses causes him to drop passes and he tends to hang on those bad plays more often than not he's gonna have to have short memory as a pro but when you look at his skill set like i said he compares favorably to victor cruz because he does have those explosive plays followed by those drops that make you scratch your head but overall a top talent and judging from the tape he earned a first round grade Vince Maley out of Washington State is a big-bodied wide receiver with upside. He's 6'2", 220 pounds, and he can play inside or out. He can play the X, Z, or even in the slot. He has good run after the catch skills, and he's fearless over the middle of the field. Now, he tends to let the ball get into his body and can be a little inconsistent when judging balls. Those are two things that he has to get a little bit more consistent in doing as a pro. But overall, his skill set, in my opinion, compares to a guy like Brandon Marshall of the Chicago Bears. There is a lot to like about Jalen Strong out of Arizona State. At 6'3", 215 pounds, he compares favorably to Marcus Colston of the New Orleans Saints. He's a natural hands catcher. He can make those contested catches consistently, and he tracks the ball very well. Now, he is a marginal route runner, and that's an aspect of his game I believe he can get better at with more repetition, and he'll get a lot of that as a pro. Now, he also doesn't play fast, and he struggles at times with press coverage, which is why I believe he's better suited at Z, but he's a very talented player and definitely works worthy of a second round grade. Michael Johnson out of Delaware was high on my list entering the season. Got a chance to see him live versus Towson. Now, granted, they are a run-heavy offense this season, and he didn't throw the ball a lot that game, although he did have some good battles with Ty Smith out of Towson, the outstanding corner, who's also an NFL prospect. But when you look at Michael Johnson's game, he's dynamic. He has tremendous athleticism. He's a run-after-the-catch type of a guy with return skills and great size-to-speed ratio at 6'2". 210 pounds. I think he's a legit 4-4-4-5 type of a player. He also has the excellent hands that you're looking for. 
Now, where he can get better, he has to polish up his route running, sinking his hips and accelerating out of his brakes. But overall, his game, in my opinion, compares favorably to Allen Robinson of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's your quintessential ZY receiver. Philip Dorsett out of Miami has elite level speed. He can go from zero to 100 in an instant. And because of that speed, he can draw bracketed coverage, which opens up everything else on your offense. So even without the ball, he can do great things for your football team. He's also a very good run after the catch type of a player. Get him the football quickly and he can take off. Now getting off press coverage and becoming a better route runner are places where he can improve his game because right now he tends to drift and round out cuts. And if you do that in the league, a lot of passes will get picked off and you'll find yourself on the bench his hands are also inconsistent he has to become a little bit more consistent in catching the football which is why i graded him out as a third round prospect but his game compares to donnie avery of the kansas city chiefs stefan diggs was a highly touted high school recruit that chose the terrapins over many of the top programs in the country he has a lot of explosiveness and has good straight line speed his value as a kickoff returner is unquestionable he has above average hands for the position but his marginal agility and change of direction skills and the fact that he struggles versus press is the reason why I have him graded so low. But if you're going to play him at Z and have him work in conjunction with the tight end and or the running back, I think he can excel tremendously as an NFL player. And I compare his game to Terrence Williams of the Dallas Cowboys. Deontay Greenberry out of Houston was another highly touted high school recruit. He was actually the first five-star recruit in program history to sign with that program. Now, he's a big-bodied wide receiver that plays big, and he's a solid route runner. I also love the fact that he has great bursts after the catch and strong hands, and he can play, in my opinion, both inside and out, although I think he'll project better as a Z. You can play him tight to the line of scrimmage as well. He's a little stiff athletically and marginal change of direction skills. What I do love about his game, he's a physical player, and I think he can own the middle of the field, which would project him well as a pro. I think he compares favorably to Marcus Wilson of the Chicago Bears coming out of Washington State. Devontae Davis out of UNLV at 6'3", 220 pounds, is a physical specimen. He plays big, which is a great thing for a bigger wide receiver. He's also a guy that runs good routes. What I love about his routes is that he drives well through his stem, which forces defensive backs to open up their hips and turn, and that way he's able to plant and come back to the football. So I think he does a great job in that capacity. He can make those contested catches that you look for because he has very good hands. Now, now he has battled through some injuries, some nagging injuries throughout the course of his career. He even got injured at the Senior Bowl and missed the entire week after the first practice. He also struggles with getting off press coverage again, which is why I would back him off the line of scrimmage. He's not overly explosive, but I do believe he has some value working over the middle of the field. And with the way he can play the post-up game versus the defensive back, he'll be a value target down in the red zone. Another talented player coming out of the Fordham program is to Bucky Jones Jr. who runs excellent routes. He's extremely shifty and he has great bursts. He's able to accelerate out of his breaks, which makes him very tough to defend and cover throughout the course of a ball game. Now, while his hands can be inconsistent at times, he can make the spectacular play and help out your football team. He's also a very good run after the catch type guy. And I will compare his game to Robert Haran, who came out of Wyoming with the same type of skill set that also plays now for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I got the chance to see Milton Williams out of Delaware State live this year. First game of the season versus Monmouth, and I came away highly impressed with his football IQ. He was helping a freshman quarterback who was making his first collegiate start with a pre-snap calls at the line of scrimmage. One play in particular led to a 55-yard touchdown reception by Williams, and he showcased that good size-to-speed ratio. He has tremendous hands, and I think he's an excellent receiver. Now, getting off bump press is where he's going to have to improve as a pro, and his technique tends to get a little sloppy again, all of which I believe can improve with repetition at the next level. But when you compare his game, I think he compares favorably to Kevin Ogletree of the New York Giants. Now let's recap my 2015 NFL Draft prospect rankings for the receiver position, the Z position more in particular. Kevin White, Ty Montgomery, the only first round picks, and these are color coded by round grade. Red being first round, blue being second round, green being third round, and there are no fourth round graded prospects in this draft class, so the purple is your fifth round prospects. All 11 guys I would definitely feel comfortable with on my football team, and stay tuned for our next wide receiver rankings video where we break down the S receiver, aka the slot wide receiver.